Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and today I'm going to show you how to use a painting grid. So, what's a painting grid? Well, I'll tell you. It's something that's going to save you a great deal of time. I very seldom use a painting pan because they're just too messy and you're always having to fill a tray. But when you use a painting grid, you don't have to worry about that. You don't ever have to worry about running out of paint. Now, before we get started, before I show you how this grid works, we have to box the paint. And you're probably wondering, Leah, what is boxing the paint? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. Come on. Now, normally, here's the thing. When you have paint and you bring it home from the store and you've got a gallon, well, you use a paint paddle to stir it up. Well, there's no way you could ever mix a five gallon bucket of paint with a paint paddle. It just wouldn't work. Certainly you've got a drop cloth down, but beyond the drop cloth, can you see how I have a piece of cardboard? I'm using that as a shop cloth. So you wanna have a piece of cardboard just in case you spill and a drop cloth as well. Okay, so the paint is boxed, and now I'm just going to transfer half the paint. Okay, so we're going to insert the uh, painting grid right there into the bucket, and it hangs right on the, on the lip of the bucket. Okay, so this is how you cover the roller in paint. You just insert the roller, and you're just rolling the, uh, the paint roller across the top of the paint. And then you're using the grid itself, okay, to get the excess paint off. That's it. Now what I like to do is, I like to do just a little tap. A little tap on the side, just to make, make certain that I'm not gonna get any drips. So here we go. Now, I gotta tell you, the other thing that I like about using a five gallon bucket and a paint screen, is that the job goes a lot quicker. And you want to use this in combination. Now you don't have to, but it's always nice to use it in combination with a pole. Okay, so if you want to take a break and uh, you don't want your paint uh, sleeve to dry out, well, all you have to do is roll it with a nice coat of uh, paint and when you come back, even if it's uh, 30 minutes, an hour later, you'll still be fine. Just roll it out again and continue painting. Okay, now here's something that I do, all right? You don't necessarily have to do this, but this is something that has worked for me over the years. If I have a large area to paint and I know that I can't get it finished in one day, I don't bother cleaning out the roller. I just submerge it in the paint, like so. Drop, drop down my painting grid and put the lid on top. And then when I come back the next day, I pull up my painting grid, I pull up my paint roller. Now, yeah, it's been submerged. You're gonna have to make certain that you drain it well on the side before you get going, because if you don't, then you're gonna have a mess. But I found that it's a lot more expedient to do it this way. So that's how you use a paint grid. It really speeds up the process of painting. And I've got the wall behind me to prove it. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.